Hello, today we're exploring AI Singing Voice Generator by ACE Studio. And it does exactly what it says on the tin. You input your MIDI, input your lyrics, let the AI do its thing, and it plays back a realistic version of what you've written. I'll show you an example I've produced in a moment. But in terms of pricing, you can get a 14-day free trial, which I highly recommend doing just to have a bit of mess around with it and make it sing some funny things. Um, but in terms of pricing after your trial, you can rent to own, which is really nice over a 20 month period, but that will cost you up to $22 a month. I'll leave a link in the description. You can explore this at your own leisure, but you can see the prices there on the screen. Let's jump into the plugin. It's not really a plugin. It's its own dedicated app or software, and it's kind of a mini DAW. But as you can see, I've got that on the right and I've bridged it with Logic Pro X using the plugin that comes with it. So when you load up Logic or your DAW, you load this up in one of the channels, one of the tracks, open up your file on the right and they sync together. So when I press play in my DAW over here, it plays within ACE Studio as well. But if I just want to focus on writing my vocals, I can click within AC Studio and it will just play that. So that's a really nice feature. Now, one thing I will add right off the bat, every time you make an edit within your vocal track, the AI has to redo its thing. So say let's just go in through the end. I'm going to input a note. And now when I want to play this back, AI rendering. Every time you make an edit, every time you do anything in here, you have to let it render. So it can feel a bit stop and start, yes. but I feel it's very much worth it in the end. Right, let's play what I've got so you can see it in action. I will then show you a little example of writing and how it is to put in the MIDI and put in the lyrics and some fun tricks with that. We'll then walk through my piece and some of the decisions I've made. But without further ado, let's see what this can do. Now there's been no processing done whatsoever. I've not EQ'd, mastered or done anything. So that's it in its raw state. The singer I have specifically used is Ember Rose, but of course there's plenty to choose from. And for example, if we wanted to try a different voice, let's go for Marco, why not? And just copy and paste this over. They do sing it ever so slightly different as well. And of course, different timbre within the voice, but let's solo him and just replay a section of that again. After the AI has rendered. To the valleys where sing and clouds are green, I feel at peace. So you can see that we already have a completely different sound to the first voice and there's plenty of different voices to experiment and try with. That was just a quick example, but for now we'll stick with Ember Rose. Now in terms of workflow and working within this software, if we go right to the end of the track, uh, you've got your two, all your little tools up here. There's hotkeys as well, but we'll just write a couple of notes. You can see that off the bat, I just put da da da's. And then if we just go into here, type out our lyrics, I love eating pie. You can see that it automatically split eating up over two different notes. And then if we just add another one there, let that generate. So if I go here, hit play, it'll take two seconds, AI rendering and then it will automatically work out the pitch or the different parts. I love eating by. 
there you have it. I love eating pie. But say I wanted a word over to notes. For some reason, love this doesn't work with. You put the word in quotation marks. But I do that and it doesn't. But if you do it with something like of and then press tab, you'll see it split it over to. Now, this was a small problem I came across as I was composing the piece, which is why there's some certain decisions I've made. For example, here on my, I wanted it over five different notes, but I tried that technique of putting in quotations. I didn't quite like it. So what I did instead, I went to the pitch tool, the pitch brush over here. And I just made it go over the notes. Now, is it the best? Of my is it perfect? No, it kind of achieves what I wanted it to achieve, but I probably need to work on that a little bit further. Other examples, for example, Breeze. That was another one. It didn't like splitting over to right here. Breeze. So instead I put B-R-E and then E-Z-E. -E. And then if you really need to as well, if we go back to our tool, you can go in and edit the phonemes at the top to fit it better, which is a really nice feature. So to give you a quick example of that, if we go over to the over here, currently, this is how the sounds. The Maybe I want it to be more of a the than a the. So if we go in and edit that, it's red if it doesn't exist, white obviously if it does, let the AI do its thing. The and you've got a completely different the sound there. So you can go in and edit your phonemes, which I feel is extremely important. And they do have charts on the websites if you want a breakdown of everything. Let that render just to show you the other side. I prefer the ah. Other things, if you have long notes, as you saw, it automatically puts in a bit of vibrato. But if you don't want that, there's a vibrato tool here. You can, as you can see there, increase it or decrease it, which is really nice and work with that. One other feature I really like is down here, right at the bottom, you can see we've got air, falsetto, tension, energy. This can be an extremely useful tool. For example, I believe, yeah, it's here, it's tension right here. I wanted a slight difference in the tension between the, the first section and the second section. Uh, automatically, it had it quite high. I toned it down ever so slightly. So if I show you how I've got it uh, with these two lines. So that's how I had it once I tamed it down a bit, but automatically without me doing that, it has that second bit way too much power in my opinion. And so to tame it down, obviously the AI has to render it. you can bring that tension down and make those decisions, which is really nice. Same with the air, you can make it even more airy if you want. <laughs> That's a little bit extreme, but to show you what that does now. And glades are green. Just adds a bit more, as it says on the tin, air into it. The same though, you've got energy, you've got tension. They're quite self-explanatory, but worth messing around. And if you're feeling, oh, that's a bit too much, you can bring that tension down. Or that's not enough, you can bring that up. It's very, very flexible. And I really like how easy it is off the bat to do that and how intuitive it is. But in all honesty, I feel I've barely scratched the surface of this product. You've got samples there as well. If you want to work almost solely within this software, you've got templates, there's dozens of other voices, even within this voice itself, if you put that to the side, you can go in and take control and mess with the tom. But I find it's a very user-friendly and easy to use software. It works extremely well with other DAWs. I had no problems having it work with logic. I had no glitches, no crashes at all. And uh, it seems extremely solid. And I highly recommend downloading the trial just to have a bit of a mess around with it. But we'll leave the video there. Let me know down in the comments if you want me to explore this even further. After a couple months, I'll probably do another video of more of my experiences with this on the longer term. But for now, we'll leave it there. This is definitely very cool. And 
very much I feel the future of music as well. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.